Hello, welcome to Shad Life. Mmm, I like my coffee. <laughs> it's true, everything's gonna be okay. Um, inside this box is the nuke proof frame. So let's pull it out and take a look at it. I already broke the seal. Yeah, it's kind of funny because when I'm filming, sometimes like opening boxes is like, and I'm just like, I'd rather just not be doing that. So <laughs> still got all the packing on it, but let's pull this thing out. Oh, wow, it looks really nice. I'm way more stoked about this than I ever was about that. Wow. That is cool. Ooh, it's got like protection under here. All right, I'm gonna get all this packing off of here and we'll take a closer look at it. This, this is rad. Man, it's even got like chain stay protection. So cool. All right, here we go. This is sweet, Nuke Proof Scout 27.5. Um, super stoked on this. The quality of this frame is amazing, I mean, the welds are super impressive. Um, it has chainstay protection to quiet any chain slap down and it doesn't destroy your frame. Even has kind of the ridges on there, which helps a lot. Uh, some down tube protection, comes with a headset. Really important that it has a threaded 73 millimeter bottom bracket. I am not a fan of press fit. I actually was just looking at road bikes, or it was like a, a gravel all-road bike, and it had a press fit bottom bracket. I was looking through all the specs. The moment I saw it had a press fit bottom bracket, I was like, nope, don't want it. I don't care how good of a deal it is. I just never had good experience with press fit bottom brackets. Don't know why companies even do it. ISCG mounts, so you can run a chain guide. Super awesome. 12 millimeter, 148 boost spacing. And what's super cool about this frame, universal derailleur hanger. Yeah, you know what that means. If I ever <laughs> get the urge to run transmission, I could do it. Um, so cool. Uh, external cable routing for rear derailleur and rear brake, uh, internal dropper post routing. So in here and then over on this side, comes out, goes in, looks like plenty of insertion depth for the dropper post. That's good. Nice curve here. Shorter chain stays, 425 on the medium. One of the things I really like about this nuke proof frame is they change the length of the chain stay based on the frame size. I love that when companies do that because it just makes so much sense. It's like, why do you make the front end longer and shorter and this taller or whatever, and you just keep the back end the same length? It makes no sense whatsoever. If you're a taller rider, your center of gravity is higher. You want a little bit longer chain stay to compensate. <laughs> Otherwise, your front end's going to be all woo. So, yeah, and then for us shorter riders, it's nice that it gets tucked in so the front end can go wee, wee. <laughs> what am I talking? Now I'm getting all crazy. All right, um, super awesome. Headset comes with the headset in this box over here. It even came with the seat clamp, a um, bunch of zip ties, and it comes with these weird rubber hose things. <laughs> If anybody has any clue what these are for, let me know because I have no idea. The, the only thing that can come to mind is, is it to put around the housing for the dropper post so it's not clanging around in there? That's the only thing I can think of. So let me know if you know, if that's the case. <laughs> uh, I'll see if I can find anything up on the internet, but yeah, never seen that before. Super cool, rad setup, 
post mount 180 rotor this is awesome i'm super stoked on this frame so let's talk about what's next with this thing Okay, so I'm going to take all the parts off the Poseidon Norton. And before I put any parts on here, the first thing I want to do, you know, I'll leave the through axle in. And I want to compare weights between this and that just to do it, right? So we'll see what the difference in weight is uh, between the frames. And then I'll go ahead and put all these parts onto this frame. Um, because that's why <laughs> I bought all these parts, because I knew I was going to reuse them for something more. Um, the cool thing is, is I'm going to have a red frame with a blue fork. I just think that's going to look super cool. It might even make me think of doing some things like taking some blue parts that I have over here on the esker and putting them mixing them in here just to give it a little more balance i don't know what i'm going to do yet but i might do some stuff like that i would like to keep the advent x drivetrain um but i'm not a huge fan of these wheels the hubs are fine but i don't necessarily like the narrowness of the rims but as long as i'm running these 27.5 by 2.4 tires i should be okay and i actually liked how this bike road, I did notice though during my tests a couple of times, and you can actually notice it in the video where I feel like I bottomed out or hit pretty hard. Um, there's a downhill rock garden in my video. I actually just put a short up on it too. And you can hear it as I'm going, getting near the bottom of that downhill rock garden. You can hear it go tung, tung, like that or whatever. And I haven't had that happen with my 2.6 tires like what i run on here as you can see these have probably gone down that <laughs> rock garden numerous times <laughs> um so i do as much as i like the two fours i'm just a little more wary of them but i might run these wheels at least initially and then change out later but if i change out to let's say i run these um, carbon wheels on there they have micro spline and then I'm kind of stuck with 12 speed and then I won't be able to run the advent deck so yeah it's just it is what it is so I might have to tweak some things um, but in general this is what it's going to look like and most of these parts are going to be what's on this frame yeah stoked on that um and then once I get everything off of there, I want to weigh the two frames, compare them, see, you know, for the heck of it, which is heavier, which is lighter, whatever. And then once I have this thing stripped down, this frame is going to be given away once I get to 3,000 subscribers. So that'll be awesome. I'll do a special giveaway thing for that. Um, and then, and I'll make sure the through axle is equipped with it. Cause if you buy this Norton frame from Poseidon, it doesn't come with a through axle. Don't ask me why very baffling, but that's, what's going to happen. So I'm super stoked. And once I get this built up, I will, you know, ride it and let you know what I think. I'm really optimistic about this because I know that I really like the geometry of that frame. And I have a feeling that this is going to just be rad. I'm going to love it. Um, and so because of that, this bike is likely going to stay in my stable. Um, it's pretty sweet. Um, I know I wanted a Santa Cruz Chameleon, was struggling to get one, and hopefully someday I'll be able to do that. But until then, I think I'm going to ride this. I really like kind of the shreddability of this. Sure, my other bikes can shred, but there's something about this kind of longer slacker, kind of aggressive geometry that I think I'm really going to like. Jumped really nice, popped good, all of that. Really liked the handling of it, um, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, uh, really hoping to take this once it gets built up out to Monarch, hit some of those trails, hit the jumps, hit the drops, stuff like that. Um, believe it or not, you can get pretty gnarly on a hardtail. You don't 
have to have full suspension. Hey, I think this wants me to check the weight right now, but we're going to wait on that. <laughs> so <laughs> there you have it. I appreciate your support for my channel. I really do. And if you like my content, please hit the subscribe button right down there. Uh, it really helps me out. And like my videos if you like the video. Peace. Rad.